Uh, let's bring in now Harvard Law Professor Emeritus Alan Dershowitz, the author of Get Trump, The Threat to Our Civil Liberties, Due Process, and Our Constitutional Rule of Law, uh, with some analysis on what he is seeing and hearing as well. Professor Dershowitz, welcome in. Great to have you today, sir. I'd like to get your reaction to Blinken saying this um, $6 billion uh, was not used in this attack, but many are looking at this and saying there's no way Hamas could have done this without Iranian support and also that there has been billions of dollars in sanctions that were not enforced by Biden, which has uh, profited uh, Iranians for years now. I think that if the United States were to unfreeze any of the $6 billion that are now frozen, they could be legally complicit mm. in criminal behavior. If, if you give money to a terrorist, knowing that money will be used for terrorist acts, you have some criminal liability. And I love the United States. I don't want to see the United States become complicitous in criminal activity. But if they give the $6 billion and some of that money is used to kill an American, that is criminal conduct. And do you think in the past, though, some of the funding that has gone through has led to attacks uh, that has oh, been used? Because no they seem to be walking back and say there's no direct link here with this particular attack on Saturday. They seem to want to distance themselves from saying but, Iran had their fingers on this. I've made a lot of predictions. I've been right about all of them. I predict that they will change their mind and that we will hear that there was a green light given explicitly by Iran to allow this attack uh, to occur. Maybe not at the moment, but uh, being a pressure all over uh, this thing. And I do think that it's possible to bring a lawsuit against uh, the United States for if it were to be giving any of that money away uh, to to have the court stop it from becoming complicit in criminal behavior. Uh, I don't think this is something that the administration has the right to do by itself, especially since Congress is almost certainly going to oppose it. And so I think this raises some serious legal and constitutional issues. But the bottom line is Iran should not get a single penny from anybody, from Qatar, from the United States, from any country, because becoming complicit in crime is becoming a criminal. Excellent uh, statement there. So let's talk about what's happening across college statements, uh, college campuses, and the statements they are making. Uh, you know what's going on at Harvard regarding that statement that came out from student groups saying they hold Israel entirely responsible for violence. A lot of backlash tonight. There's actually uh, UC San Diego holding an event that they say honor our martyrs. Now there's this. A dozen CEOs, Professor, are backing uh, Bill Ackman saying we shouldn't be hiring these folks. Uh, do you think that that is, that is fair? Some people say they didn't know what was on the statement. Or do you think they should absolutely uh, be called out for the statement they signed blaming Israel? Would you want a lawyer who didn't read a document before he signed it? No. Of course not. These idiot students, they didn't put that on their application to Harvard that they signed statements before reading them. It's worse that they signed the statements before reading it because it means that they automatically, in a knee-jerk way, were prepared to sign the most outrageous statements against Israel. Can you imagine any of these statements, a statement against African-American people, against gay people, against transgender people? Of course not. Don't buy it. These useful idiots uh, can't get away with that. I have to tell you, you know, I was a lawyer, been a lawyer for 60 years. I would not hire anybody who signed any of those statements unless they could prove they didn't know that they were signing or their, their statements were forged. But if they signed the statement, uh, knowing it was from Amnesty International or from some group without reading it, I think they're excluded from the job market. Certainly any job market that I'm involved in, they would be excluded from. I could never, ever put a client's life or liberty or finances at risk by having stupid lawyers like that. I don't care if they went to Harvard Law School or Yale Law School. If they can't read a document before signing it, especially a document that is a blood libel, essentially, yeah. then well, they deserve Even your I, former student, Senator Ted Cruz, posted what the 
what is wrong with Harvard? So uh, obviously the folks uh, and San Diego campus honoring our martyrs. Maybe there's students out there who should be listening to this interview and word to the wise. Maybe they don't show up this evening. Uh, terrible uh, to see this happening across our college campuses. Professor Dershowitz, thank you so much for joining us today. I certainly appreciate it, sir, as always. Having me on. Thank you.